Hello once again and welcome to video two of seven in our intro to Cassandra for Developers Crash Course, Create Your Astra Instance. So what we're gonna do in this particular case is, um, matter of fact, there is a link in the video description that will bring you here to github.com slash datastacks academy slash intro to Cassandra for Developers. Um, and if you follow it down, we're gonna do section number one here, Create Your Astra Instance. Now on the right hand side, I've already brought up um, the Astra UI for signing up. Now I already have an account, right? This should only take just a moment to do where you fill in your email, uh, your password, you create the account, or you could use GitHub or your Google credentials, whatever. The instructions are, are in, the, in the readme itself. Now, since I've already got an account, I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in. Don't copy my stuff. Now hopefully you can't tell what password I'm putting in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And that's what this is talking about. Now I should be clear that Astra is in fact free. You do not have to, um, you don't have to put in a credit card or anything like that. The first thing I wanna point out, and you're gonna see this credits remaining thing. Um, when, you, when you create your first database and everything, it's gonna ask you, pick the pay as you go plan. That's what you want, pay as you go. Now I just said, it's free. You will get a $25 credit every month that automatically rolls over. That is enough to actually run small production workloads on it. Um, you could have millions of operations there. You're not gonna go past that when you're just experimenting and such like we're doing now. Um, and matter of fact, you can see I actually, I have a ton of databases that I've created. I've been doing things in them. And uh, matter of fact, the month just flipped, but I, I used maybe three bucks or something of it in the total, the total thing. So again, point being, you will not be charged anything. You do not need to put a credit card in. The sign up and everything is free. Okay, so with that, um, what I'm gonna do is you go to step 1B, it says create a pay-as-you-go plan. Now there is a guide here, if you open that up, that'll actually give you all of the instructions if you need them. Um, but what I'm gonna do is say create database. And notice we stated here the database name. So what we're asking you to do is you could really pick whatever names you want, but for the purposes of this workshop, we are asking you to use the values that we have Reason being is later on, when you go through the exercises, it's going to use these values and it'll be that much easier to follow along. Okay, so I put in my database name and my key space name. Now I wanna pick a provider. You can choose either Google Cloud or Amazon Web Services. Um, it will automatically determine which of the regions, depending on which one you pick, is by you. So I'm just gonna go with Google Cloud. You can take a look, you'll see that the, um, the cost for read and write requests, storage and stuff are slightly different between the two. Um, the main difference there is, um, I should probably pick one, there we go, it fills it out. Um, again, these are just letting you know what the price would be if you were paying. But since we're using the free $25 every month, you don't have to worry about that. And then I will say create database. Now from there, you'll see your new database start up here and you'll see it go into a pending state. Uh, eventually it'll say things like initializing and it will go to a green active like you see with the other ones. Um, at that point, you can then move on. I would say for now, just let this be and go to the next video in the series, learn a little bit about data modeling, come back and this will be ready to go.